yes so this is my 20th video of complex analysis in the playlist of UPSC max optional so in the last video I have posted a test series on complex analysis 2 so I received some maybe 2 to 3 question 2, 2 to 3 answer sheet but no one have attended the fourth question so in this video I will try to solve the fourth question right so I'll talk, I will I solve the fourth question in the, in the next video we will go on to type 2 integral right so so far we have seen type 1 integral which is integral 0 to 2 pi f of cos theta comma sin theta d theta <coughs> you will make one transformation to change to put z is equal to e power i theta to change to a unit circle right in the next type we are going to see integral minus infinity to infinity or integral 0 to infinity instead of integral 0 to 2 pi right so before going to that type 2 integral we will solve the fourth problem now so the fourth problem is so it is given that f of z is equal to product of n is equal to 1 to 17 z minus pi by n and gamma of t is equal to e power 2 i t and t belongs to 0 comma 2 pi and if integral over gamma f dash of z by f of z is equal to alpha pi i then alpha is equal to right so no one have no one have tried to solve this question and remember there is a symbol it is a product symbol is given here right so it means you have to multiply first 17 terms first 17 terms you have to multiply if you are if you given the summation mean we have to add all terms if there is a product symbol means you have to multiply all the terms till up to n is equal to 1 to 17 so many students have only taken this as f of z z minus pi by n but but but, but you should not take that so we will solve this sum and after solving this we will move on to type 2 integral right So we will solve the fourth question now. Yes. So this 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 question is asked in gate exam. So the I found this question is I I found this question very interesting. So that's why I have included that in the question paper. So it is given that f of z is product. Actually, no one have noticed there is some there is a product sign here. So if there is a symbol like this, you have to add all this. If we have a symbol like this, we have to multiply all this, right? So it is given that f of z is a product of n is equal to 1 to 17 z minus pi by n and gamma of t is equal to e power i e power 2 i t. So that means it is a center 0 and the radius 1. So it revolving two times, right? Since it is 2 i t, so first time and second time. So we have e power 2 i t, right? So we have to find the uh, value of alpha for which integral over gamma f, f dash of z by f of z is equal to alpha pi i. So first we will found first we will find f dash of z and then we will divide that by f of z and then we will find the residue for that. So our f of z is product of n is equal to 1 to 17. So if I apply z is e n is equal to 1, I have pi by 1. If I apply n is equal to 2, I have pi by 2. Then the next term will be z minus pi by 3 and up to z minus pi by 17. So we have 17 terms overall. Now we will find f dash of z. Now we will find f dash of z. So what I am going to do is, I am going to fix this as u. Because we are differentiate by uv method, right? Because it is in product. So I am going to fix all the term as v all the term as v so we will have so if i do this i will have u v dash plus v u dash right yes so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix I'm going to differentiate this term and I'm going to fix all the term and plus I'm going to differentiate this term and I'm going to fi fix all other terms. So what I'm going to do is I first I write it down so that it will be clear for you. So instead of doing this, you will apply some other technique to make it more easier. So this is set minus pi by three. So what I'm going to do is I am going to differentiate this so d by dz of z minus pi z minus pi and I am going to fix all other term 
that is z minus pi by 2 z minus pi by 3 up to z minus pi by 17 now plus I'm I'm differentiating the second term so d by d z of z minus pi by 2 I'm fixing all other terms so we will have z minus pi by 1 here yeah, z minus pi by 2 will not be here so z minus pi by 3 up to z minus pi by 17 and I'm, and, and I'm differentiating the third term so if I go like this way so we will have up to the last term which is z minus pi by 17 I want to fix all other term so we will have z minus pi by 1 up to z minus pi by 16 right so this derivative will be 1 this will be 1 this will be 1 because d by dz of z is 1 and these are all constant so we are left with this part this part up to this part now i can write this part as i can write this part this i can write this part as product of n is equal to 2 to 17 z minus pi by n right so i can write this entire term this entire term as z minus pi by n and i am varying n to be equal to 2 to 17 now i can write this term as product of z minus pi by n n is equal to 1 to 17 n not equal to 2 n not equal to 2 and i can write the third term as n is equal to 1 to 17 n not equal to 3 right so if i go on like this way i love this term as product of n is equal to 1 to 16 z minus pi by n so this is our f dash of z so our f dash of z is product of n is equal to 2 to 17 z minus pi by n plus product of n is equal to 1 to 17 n not equal to 2 z minus pi by n plus product of n is equal to 1 to 17 n not equal to 3 z minus pi by n up to product of n is equal to 1 to 16 z minus pi by n so this is our f dash of z so now we will now we will find f dash of z by f of z <coughs> f of z is product of n is equal to we know f of z is product of n is equal to 1 to 17 z minus pi by n right so this f dash of z by f of z will become so if i divide this term by z minus pi by n up to n is equal to 1 to 17 so we will have 1 by z minus pi by 1 right because here we have z, the, the, in this in f of z the next term will be z minus pi by 2 z minus pi by 3 up to z minus 17 this old term and this f dash of z will get cancelled so if i divide this by f of z if i divide this term by f of z so we will have 1 by z minus pi by 2 because here we will have z minus pi by 1 z minus pi by 2 up to z minus pi by 17 so f dash of z we will have all terms except 2 right so all of the term will get cancelled so in the, in the denominator we will have z minus pi by 2 so again similarly we will have in this term as z minus pi by 3 so up to 1 by z minus pi by n so this is our f dash of z by f of z right so we need to find the integral over it so it is given that it is a unit circle right so we need to find which of them lies inside the unit circle so our poles this is up to pi by 17 so our poles are pi pi by 2 because this will be equal to 0 so pi by 3 pi by 4 pi by 5 pi by 6 up to pi by 17 so these are our these are our poles now our uh, integral is a unit circle right so this is 3.14 so which is slice outside the unit circle so this is 3.14 by 2 so it will get than 1 so 3.14 by 3 it will also be greater than 1 so we see that after this stage 3.14 by 4 this will be less than 1 
so all other terms from pi by 4 to pi by 17 lies inside our lies inside our unit circle so we need to find residue for pi by 4 pi by 5 pi by 6 up to pi by 17 i'll give you an important result that residue of residue of f of z at z0 is equal to n into 2 pi i where n is the winding number this will, this will be new for you so winding number is a number how many times the circle is revolving suppose if i take some point here the winding number for all this point will be 2 because our unit circle is e power 2 i t suppose if i have e power 3 i t then the winding number for all this point will be equal to 3 if I have 4 i t then winding number will be 4 so the point is revolving uh, how many times the circle revolves around that point so we, we can see that at this stage the winding up the, uh, the residue for pi by 4 residue for pi by 4 will be this is integral so our residue for pi by 4 will be 2 pi i into winding number right because it lies inside the region and yet for residue for integral over F residue of this will be 2 pi i again this will be 2 so again this will be 2 pi i into 2 so up to 2 pi i into 2 so we have 4 to 17 terms that is 4 pi 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 so we have 14 terms overall right so I can write this so we have 14 2 overall so 2 pi i 2 plus 2 plus up to 14 times 2 so we will have 28 pi i so this is 14 times so 14 into 2 is 28 pi i so our alpha value is 20 so we have 2 is repeated 14 times so this means we will end up with So we will have 2 pi i, 2 is repeated 14 times. So we will have 2 into 14. So we will have 2 pi i into 28. So 56 pi i. So our alpha value is 56, right? So other sums are pretty very easy, I think. So if you have any doubt, if I have to solve any problem, you please comment in this video so i'll try to solve that also right so all, all the sums are very easy and uh, for the fifth problem the center you have to take like this the general equation of circle is mod z minus i is equal to r so here there is no minus here so i'm writing this 1 minus i as minus of minus 1 plus i so this is our center so that means our center is minus 1 comma 1 center is minus 1 comma 1 so minus 1 will be here 1 will be here this is our center this is our center so with this center the radius is given that it is 2 so will you sorry so minus 1 comma 1 will be right here right so this is our center so radius will be equal to 2 so that means a uh, plus 1 will be 1 and here it will be minus 3 and up to down 2 so we have circle like this so in this region you find which of them lies inside the, the in, in this region right so next video i will start type 2 integral we will see in the next video goodbye thank you